the baby's inside, we have a oral cable compression. So the baby's pressing down on the aorta and the gynecologist. So even if I have good compressions, do I have enough blood filling the heart? No, because nothing is coming in, right? Uh, in terms of my head placement, they're the same. But lower half of the breastbone, we're going to do 32 2 if on the BLS side. ALS comes in, they're going to intubate, then do continuous compressions, one breath every six seconds with the endotracheal tube. Make sense? So, uh, he's going, James is going to show you left uterine displacement can you, can yep. you grab it? Okay. So what left uterine displacement is, is he's feeling right the, the baby, the fetus, and when he feels it, he's going to basically move it off to the side, to the left side, right? He's doing the two-handed technique. You could also do one-handed technique, but I don't think it's effective. I'll show you the one-handed technique. One-handed technique is basically me doing this on this side, right? But two-handed technique is more effective, right? And then uh, if we were doing CPR, right? Uh, where is Uh, you see that? Uh, uh, come. Uh, who wants to do ventilation? Come. Yeah, come on. Jordan, you raise your hand. So he's gonna be do he's be he's gonna be doing my ventilations, right? And I'm gonna be doing compression thirty two. Show you how that looks, right? Uh, well, what you wanna remember? What's good for the mom is gonna be what's gonna save the fetus. Because uh, if we cannot save the mom, we're not going to be able to save the fetus. Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. right. So uh, we're going to basically, for, for this one, we're going to put an OPA, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to do yeah. ventilation. Ideally, if I have enough providers, you want to do 200 ventilations. Let me get one more person. One more person. Perfect. Right? So we're going to do, we're going to do 200 ventilations, and we'll show you, right, uh, this is more effective if you have enough personnel, right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, come to the back. You, you hold the, the face seal and you're going to squeeze the back, right? Squeeze the back, you hold the face seal. Like, put your thumbs like this. Look, put your thumbs like this on the mask. Good. And then lift the mandible from the bottom. Move. 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 So, uh, yeah, come, come on this side, it'll probably be better. So, go ahead, do the left uterine displacement. I'm going to count out to 30, and you guys are going to be ventilating, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, good ventilation. Good ventilation. One, two, four, five. Thank you guys, right? So we're gonna be doing this, right? Hopefully ALS arrives, right? In terms of AED, are you placing the AED? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes, we're placing the AED. You're calling ALS for assist, right? And when they come, they're gonna intubate, then you do continuous compressions, uninterrupted. Everybody follow? Yeah. Right? That is if the baby's still inside and mom goes into cardiac arrest, right? Now, let's say uh, we have a delivery and the baby comes out limp, right? And I, I check and all of a sudden I notice heart rate. I put a pulse ox and I listen to my stethoscope, right? Uh, who had a stethoscope? Who borrowed a stethoscope? I so I put a pulse ox, let's say heart rate is 80. I, I, I listen to my apical sound with my watch, right? I count and I multiply, right? Like with the 15 seconds times four, let's say heart rate is still 80, right? What is the first thing we need to start doing? Ventilation. Ventilation. So here, right, we're gonna start doing positive pressure ventilation. With the new PALS guidelines, we're doing one breath every Three seconds. Two to three seconds, very good, right? So here, right, I would be providing ventilations every two to three seconds. I'm looking at my heart rate. If my heart rate all of a sudden increases to like 120, 130, what should I do? I stop ventilations because the moment heart rate exceeds 100, right? Uh, uh, like one, let's say I start ventilation and all of a sudden heart rate is now 140, 160, I stop doing this. Maybe I'll switch to blow by if the saturation is still poor, but I'm not going to continue with positive pressure ventilation. Now, I start to ventilate positive pressure, heart rate is decreasing. Heart rate is now 50. What are we going to be doing? Right, what's the ratio? Right, so, you see how he's doing two thumbs encircling technique, right? And I'm over here, so you count. One, two, three. 
them, right? One, two, three. And you notice what this is? This is your manometer. It gauges the, the strength. Sometimes the baby can come out and they have what's known as meconium aspirations. It's basically the first poop they had inside the mom and they swallowed it. And you may have to override this pressure relief valve, right? So that I can deliver a little bit higher pressure uh, to the to the baby, right? So I can override this, right? So I need to give a little higher pressure to override this. Paramedics, we can uh, suction it and we can intubate, put an endotracheal tube right in the in the locks. But uh, let's let's show you the regular thing, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm doing One, just two, three. Doing just enough to to get uh, chest rise. And every 30 seconds, I reassess. I, I have my eyes on the pulse ox. I have my eyes, you know, I have my cardiac monitor. The moment my heart rate exceeds 60, I stop doing what? CPR. CPR. The moment my heart rate exceeds 100, stop ventilation. Stop ventilation and then we need other resuscitative care, like low by oxygen, warming, stimulating. Uh, maybe paramedics come, they could give IV access, give IV fluids, and so forth, right? But anytime you got an unstable mom or the kid, you call for ALS, right? And this is basically neonatal resuscitation. Every 30 seconds, you reassess. Uh, this was maternal cardiac arrest and left uterine displacement. Uh, any questions about everything's clear? Everyone? All right, perfect.